Welcome back to the Legacy Crusaders YouTube channel. This is Benji, and this is our first mini-sode of Ask Judge Man. And today we are going to discuss the ins and outs of a brand new card, a secret rare from Savage Strike, Witch's Strike. So Witch's Strike is a normal trap card with the following effect. If your opponent negates a normal or special summon, or negates the activation of a card or effect, destroy all cards your opponent controls and in their hand. So we're going to talk about the commonly asked questions in reference to Witch's Strike since its announcement. The first part of the card refers to negating the normal or special summon of a monster. So that means if the normal summon of a monster is negated, or the special summon of a monster is negated. Now that includes your regular normal summon, any additional normal summon you might get from a card such as Gem Knight, Seraph Knight, or Double Summon. In special summons are referring to something such as a Pendulum Summon, or a Synchro Summon, or an Xyz Summon, or a Link Summon, some sort of Inherent Summon, or maybe even a Effect Monster you'd summon from your hand, like a Cyber Dragon. If the summon would be negated by a card such as Solemn Warning, or Solemn Strike, or Evil Zarlagia, that would be an appropriate activation condition for Witch's Strike. Now, the part that confuses a lot of players is that Solemn Warning is a counter trap, and Witch's Strike is a normal trap card. So the question becomes, at what point would you activate Witch's Strike? Because you can't chain Witch's Strike to Solemn Warning. Witch's Strike actually has an activation condition similar to that of a Mirror Force or a Torrential Tribute. A gameplay action has just occurred, and in the following chain that would occur before the open game state where normal summons can be made or attack declarations can occur, you can activate Witch's Strike at any point at that time, the same as Torrential Tribute and Mirror Force. If a monster was successfully normal summoned, then you can activate Torrential Tribute in the next chain, even if they want you wanted to activate another card first, such as Wabaku, and then chain Torrential Tribute. So this is the timing in which Witcher Strike can activate. The second question is, could you use it in the chain following the activation of a card such as Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring? And the answer is no. And the reason for this is that Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring does not negate the activation of a card or effect. It negates the effect of an effect, or the effect of an activation. So pretty much if a card doesn't say it negates the activation of a card or the activation of an effect, it cannot be bonded to with Witch's Strike. Ash Blossom and Joy Spring would be the type of card you can't use it in response to, or in the chain following, because you would never actually respond to the negating card. An example of a card you could use Witch's Strike in the chain following would be Altergeist Hextia. Now, Altergeist Hexia negates the activation of a card or the effect of a card. So it negates the activation one way or the other. So no matter what it's negating, whether it be the activation of Breakthrough Skill by um, flipping it face up from a set position or using its effect in the graveyard, Hextia's effect is to negate the activation of that card or effect. So either way, it's negating an activation and therefore fits the criteria to use Witch's Strike in the following chain. If you found this mini-sode helpful, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell that you don't miss any of our future updates and releases. Make sure you vote in the community tab in order to make sure that you get a voice in deciding on what our next mini-sode will be on, and I'll see you next time.